包丁です。包丁です。This is a little quick garage sale preview. We got a garage sale coming up right away, and、uh, we are starting to see some stuff arrive. And as we always do, we get excited and we go in the back and we rip open the boxes and think about the things we want to buy. So、uh, we thought maybe we'd let you in on our little、uh, sneak a peeker.、Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a full video on Monday. Uh, where we're going to go through all sorts of stuff. This is going to be a quick little sneak peek. There's a full video this afternoon, but we want to just get you excited and show you some cool stuff. The knife or garage sale runs from Monday to Monday, starting on the insert date here. And、uh, first day is awesome. So many great sales to be had. And if you check out our website, you'll see everything that's available. And on the first thing on Monday, you can order online, and you can also go down into the stores. Now, the store inventory is not available online on the first day, but it does become available on the second day. That's because we want to give everyone a good shot at getting what they want. The sale starts at 8 a.m. online Monday, November the 7th, and runs until November 13th. Garage sale is all about exciting knives. Mostly one of a kind, but we have really, really great deals as well. Okay, you pulled out some knives. Yeah. Show me what you got. What's this stack? You got stack, stack, knife. Yes. What's stack one? Let's start from this stack of knives right here.、Mm -hmm. As I said, Grasel is all about really, really super cool, unique, one of a kind knives, and these are that. These knives are. You know, some people are familiar. Unique, one of a kind.、One、I know this box. I've、yes. seen this face. This must be a Fujiwara. Ooh, oh, hey. hey, look at that. That's a really pink handle Fujiwara. Ooh, ooh, is that Denka Nakiri?、Hey. It's rare we get the finger notch on a Japanese style handle, and what a cool handle. Okay, this is a real sweet so, knife. This is basically a stack of knives with super fancy. <gasps> oh, what is that? 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 This is Haddle. Of、Sakai. course, that's a Haddle. Look at the sharpening on that. Oh my goodness. White carbon steel number one.、Mm. No stainless on the outside, so it's like really. Oh, really this is、nice、like real traditional、yeah. pure. Yeah.、Ooh. Super thin blade. Look at the handle, though. That handle's really nice. Yeah, it's like really, really stabilized wood with the little bit of、uh, that water buffalo horn. Can I see? Can I see? Can I see? Wow, this feels incredible. This is light and thin. This is a laser beam. Oh my goodness. And just just look at how deep that bevel is on this knife, man. This thing will just float through food. Hey, that's so cool. And we、All、have、right. something like Nigara. Oh, the, I like Nigara knives. With that like fancy handle.、Like、I've、this. been using a Nigara bunka a lot,、mm -hmm. and I really like it. It's、uh, I like it as my daily driver. It's always nice and sharp. You know, my masashi's are a little bit finer and thinner.、Mm -hmm. But I feel I have to be more delicate with them, and with my nigara, I don't feel like I'm kind of dancing around as much.、Yeah. This one's cool too.、Yes. I like the texture on this blade, and that kiritsuke style tip、yeah. just gives it such cool looking attitude. Okay, this is that's super so, nice. I like that too. Yeah, we'll have the、uh, various more of these fancy handles. Okay, wa handle. Which is Japanese handle, as well as some of the European、uh, Western style handle,、nice. some、yeah. like stabilized wood or some、okay. resin cool, mixed cool, cool. in. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, no, yeah, we've seen yeah. those before too.、Yeah. Those are so、nice. we have those available as well. So little sneak peek. I think it's super cool that you get a really unique combination of handle and blade, not、mm -hmm. something we normally have,、mm -hmm. which is kind of par for the course for the garage sale.、Mm -hmm. But this individual handle, there's nothing else like it. So it really truly makes these knives one of a kind. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, stack one was the unique one of a kind、yeah. with the cool handles.、Yeah. What is stack two? Stack two, you know, as I said, there's a lot of great deals,、mm -hmm. especially this garage sale. We have、nice. greatest deal, like nice. So this stack is just a part of a lot more knives in、mm. this category. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's called Tsunehisa knives. Right, and we're gonna have a sale on Sunihisa、yes. knives in the garage sale. Yes. So the garage sale, as you know, is a little bit euphemistic. A, there is no garage, and B, it's not like used pots and pans and old shoes, right? It, it's a great term just to say that it's kind of a bargain hunt, and we've got a great selection of good deals and really cool, unique knives. So this is highlighting some of the great deals. Plus, these are some knives that we're actually going to put like a big discount on. So this is exciting. Yes. So 
old Tsunehisa branded knives will be 20% 20, 20. nice. Yeah, that's a good deal. It's a, it's a, it's a good, good deal. Like, but, and Tsunehisa knives are this like brand of knives uh, with a lot of different um, makes and finishes. Mm. For example, we have something like this, ZA18. It's a really oh, new nice type steel. of stainless yeah. steel, you know, like it's similar to VG10, but the, uh, it's got a really nice finish, Damascus finish, really nice and thin, mm -hmm. really nice and light. Okay, let's see. I like this uh, single handle. Yeah. I like the look of this. This is a really kind of like fancy looking blade, bit mm. simple looking handle. Yeah. Oh, it is light, yeah. nicely balanced. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, something like that. And this is a 185. This is a little bit longer than a typical Santoku as well. Something like that to the, we do actually have a, I didn't bring out today, but the, uh, there are some single bevels under Tsunehisa's. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's like carbon steel for those who's looking for, you know, upgrade or get some, you know, like something different from yeah. the, for their collection. Um, those Tsunehisa, all Tsunehisa branded names will be 20% off. Wow. Yeah, and Tsunehisa knives are always really nicely put together. They look great. Um, and I think they make great gifts without breaking the bank. Right? Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about individual knives like these. We have one, two, three, four, five, six knives to talk about. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here. This is Sakai Takayuki uh, Aogami Kurochi oh. knives. Um, this is one of those knives that, you know, people who's looking for handmade, mm -hmm. well-made, mm -hmm. uh, but doesn't break your bank. Mm -hmm. um, that's Need, my style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Needs a little bit more maintenance. Like it is like Aogami number two mm -hmm. with no stainless on the outside. Mm -hmm. But this is really well made under supervision of Sakai Takayuki. It is mm -hmm. a, mm -hmm. made in the uh, Miki mm -hmm. area, but the uh, it is under supervision of Sakai Takayuki, which is the really, you know, well-known uh, company. They're excellent company. Yeah. yeah. So their quality is really high. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, I like blue number two. My first Nakiri, my only Nakiri is blue number two. I really like it. It's also completely carbon. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Mm -hmm. I really like the look of this though. Yeah. Look at that. It almost looks like a rock. Yeah. It's got a really nice finish. Like hammer like you can see yeah. a little bit of hammer pattern left on the blade yeah um, it's it's raw right it's yeah. kind of, it's not like they stopped after making the knife and decided mm -hmm. to go back and polish it and polish it and thin it out and make mm -hmm. it super even and perfect but i don't care about that i actually like the way a knife like that looks and feels and even the way it cuts yeah. too it's got a really nice taper as well yeah so it's not going to be like it's one of those like super thin delicate knives yeah and it's going to last very very nice well it's got that nice sort of curve right at the tip of the nakiri mm -hmm. i like that because if i get into that rock motion it's gonna roll on that mm. curve it's not gonna snag on the tip yeah yeah that's cool um, it's two hundred nine dollars oh wow smoking uh, deal you know it's, it's yeah that's good cool deal. Yeah. that's a great deal what do we got next I see another Sakai Takayuki box yeah. here so we have the Sakai Takayuki knife another Sakai Takayuki knives from the um, this oh. one here and contrary Ooh. to the uh, the last one that I was showing you this is all stainless steel they call this one of the newer lines of um, their series, it's called mm -hmm. the Sakai Takayuki Ginga. Ginga uh, means galaxy. I haven't heard that word before. That's a good one. Ginga. Galaxy. Ginga. It's made with the ZA18, the stainless steel. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really nice. It's got a really nice uh, thin, keen edge to it. It's got a beautiful Damascus. And oh, look at the handle. The whole entire knife looks like, um, I guess, galaxy. That's probably why they <laughs> named yeah, it. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's, it is... Uh, it is a very nice looking knife. Look at that guy. Yeah, uh, that's beautiful. This is really great as a uh, gift as well. Mm -hmm. Easy to take care of. Mm -hmm. It looks fancy enough mm -hmm. and it, you know, it still works fantastically, yeah. right? Well, stainless steel is nice, especially when you're giving someone a gift. You don't know how, you don't always know. Like sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, like if you're giving something to your dad, mm -hmm. you know whether or not he's going to take care of it or not. But sometimes you just want to give a friend a nice housewarming mm -hmm. present or something. A kitchen knife is a great option. Mm -hmm. And going with something stainless is really good. Because yeah. it's just going to be a little bit nicer for them to use. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. All righty. Oh, I know this box too. Hatsukokoro. Yeah. Hatsukokoro works with many different blacksmith and knife right, makers right. in Japan. This one here, the new line, new wish, it's been around for a little while, but Ginyo is the name of this line, forged and sharpened by the Yaoji-san, Yoshihiro oh. Yaoji in the Echizen. I haven't heard that name for a little while. Yeah, no, he, he was, we had his knives before. Yeah, he, we had some crazy like cool, thin, single bevel mm -hmm. Damascus Guto, yeah. right? He okay. worked for 
Hideoki Taoka san, who is the,、mm-hmm. the single bevel guy in、uh, Takefu、mm-hmm. region, right? And he worked for him, so he was specialized, well, he still specializes in the single bevel knives, except for this line. So he started、oh. making double bevel knives. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. I want to see this. This looks so cool. I'll have to show everyone first. Oh, forget about them. Give it to me. Look at that. I can see the little fine hammer marks on、yes. it. Oh my so god. So it's got the. It is made with a Ginsan stainless steel on the core and multi layers、nice. of Damascus、okay. on the outside, stainless Damascus. But look at that. It has got a little bit of texture yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the. We call it Hira or the, the flat part of the blade. They leave the hammer pattern, yet they polish them nice enough to show. That the Damascus kind of popping up, right? This is really unique, hey? It is super, super unique. First couple, couple batches. This is probably his third or fourth、wow. batch. And we, deci- we decided to wait a little bit because he traditionally a single bevel guy. Yeah. And wasn't like I've seen, we've actually seen his first batch of his knife.、Mm-hmm. And it was a little bit more chunky and thick. Yeah, this is not. Thin and super delicate feeling, but it's not chunky no, either. No, no, no. Yeah. Like a couple batches later, he made so much thinner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. yet, it's not like, you know, frimsy thin, right? So it's、no. got a really nice balance. But look at how tight the lines are. Like, how many layers of Damascus are in here? That's amazing. That's super cool. And okay, so it's Ginsan, which is stainless.、Yeah. Ginsan, I always think of it like it's like white carbon steel, but it's got the chromium、mm-hmm. to make it stainless. But I always like it when you're, when you're sharpening and cutting it,、yeah. cutting with that steel, because it feels like that really crisp edge.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really like and I find it's really nice to sharpen too.、Oh, yeah. Okay, this is cool. I always like a knife with that hammered texture、mm-hmm. just because it, 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 there's so much less resistance as you cut through food that.、Uh, If you're cutting faster, you don't ever like jam the、mm. knife, right? Okay, this is something I'm really excited that's, about. That's super okay,、beautiful. that's very cool. Well, next one is the、uh, Style K. It's a company by the Makoto Kurosaki. Makoto san. He's the、uh, older brother of the Yu Kurosaki. That's right, yeah, yeah. Makoto san is a sharpener, in fact, but the,、uh, he gets the blade from various different blacksmiths and oftentimes he. Gets to work with some steels that the,、um, I don't know where he gets the blade from, like this particular one,、mm-hmm. but sometimes he gets to work with the knives that not many blacksmiths have started working with, I guess.、Mm. That's this particular one,、uh, he calls it Kodama. The、uh, Kodama、oh. is a tree spirit. It actually has that little, little thing called、oh. Kodama. Oh, that's interesting.、Uh, and that's why it's got the、uh, little you know, green you know, tree. You know, leaves green.、Um, anyways, yeah. This is very interesting. Yeah, you need, so, to, you need to talk about that Damascus. Yeah. Look that at that. That is very. Is that five layers of steel? Essentially, yes. It's got the Damascus layer and this cladding layer and a core steel. Wow. So this makes it really super unique. Usually, you see the layers of steel on this the、uh, bevel part here. That's too, right. right? Yeah. It just looks like just one piece of steel. And you know what, this core steel? What is it? It's, a, it's called VG10W. VG10W? VG10W. What does the W mean? It's a new, it's a tungsten. W is the yeah, tungsten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they, the Takefu special steel、Ooh. came up with this new steel called VG10W. It can attain a lot more harder edge, actually, than the、uh, regular VG10. So, it's like VG10 Plus? Yeah, exactly. Okay, this is a very cool knife. That Damascus pattern is very cool, and the fact that it's not down on the bevel、yeah. makes it even more unique. It's, it's super cool.、And、so instead it, of being two layers of steel, it's three layers of steel. Instead of three layers of steel, it's got more la- like yeah, five yeah, layers? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or even more, because it's got the.、Uh, the layers. Wait, the- it's more. The- <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is very cool. And I think it's, a, it's nice to shine a light on the, the sharpener, because. So often we're really, really just focused on the blacksmith, the,、mm-hmm. the dude who's hammering it out and building the structure of the steel, which is really a really crucial part,、mm-hmm. right?、Um, but there is a unique individual who's, who's using their talents to shape that final bevel.、Mm-hmm. And it's not just sharpening like we think of just the fine edge, it's, it's creating、mm-hmm. that cutting、mm-hmm. surface, right? And so th- I, I think. People that are focused on that deserve their own,、uh, their own spotlight,、yeah. like Makoto does here too. Oh boy, that's、yeah. so even. 
Wow, this feels great. I'm super excited about this. That's yeah. really neat. I like new stuff. I know. And it's called Tree Spirit. Tree Spirit by Style K. Alrighty, next. All right, that was super cool. I know this box really well. This box really excites me. So this is made by the Moritaka-san. Mm -hmm. Moritaka-san's been around for a little while, you know, like a little while as the uh, 720 years, yeah, 30 they're years. Coming up on a millennium. Oh yeah, actually, yep. you know, they started from 1293. Oh yeah. yeah, that's it. Hey. 1293. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's right. it's actually next year, 2023. That will be their uh, 730 year anniversary. Jesus. 730 year anniversary. It's 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 like yeah. That's very cool, and they that family has been making. Well, not knives, but swords yeah. for the most part of that. Yeah. But was it the last five or six generations have been knives? They've, yeah. Uh, they're very cool. They're very cool, and they make very nice things. And yeah, so we regularly have this uh, uh, Ishime uh, mm -hmm. knives with the blue carbon number two. And once a year, we ask them to just you know sometimes make. Well, they they like to make the steel with this. They like they like to use the steel called super blue carbon steel. Mm -hmm. Right. So. This is their Super Blue Carbon Steel series. Yep. Which we get in like once a year. Yep. L roll the spine over. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but look at the taper on that blade. That's nice. So this Chinese cleaver with the Chukabocho is not really the Chinese cleaver to cut the bones with. Right. This is really, you know, just think of the really big nakiri. Yeah. Vegetables, mm -hmm. raw meat, mm -hmm. fruits. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. But not the bones, and not, not the pits, the bones, and not, not the shells, yeah. and not the rocks. No. This is slightly bigger than his or their um, Meganakiri counterpart. Okay, so is it it's taller than the Meganakiri or it's longer? About longer. Oh, okay. It's slightly nice. longer than their Meganakiri counterpart. So it's got a little bit more, you know, cutting uh, length to it. Oh. I like it. I like Algami Super because it doesn't oxidize quite as fast. Mm -hmm as some of the other carbon steels. However, it manages to keep an excellently sharp edge. Yeah. It, Algami Super is actually one of my favorites. So that is very exciting. That's, yeah, this is really exciting. We do have uh, quite a bit of lines from actually this line too. Nice, yeah. yeah. No, sorry, quite a bit of knives from this line too. Okay, is there a Honosuke? Yes. Ugh. Yes. On both Kurochi and Ishime. No! So there's both Ishime, Aogami Super, Honosuke, Morataka. Yeah. And Kurochi, Aogami Super, Honosuke, Morataka. Yes. Yes! All right. Okay, that's so cool. Choices, yeah. I know this box, and I was just saying, I think that a knife from this maker is going to be one of the next things to hit my wall, and I just don't know which one it's going to be. What do we got here? This must be a Gyuto. Yes, Kisuke Manaka, well, that's his blacksmith name. Uh, Shunsuke Manaka is his real name. Mm -hmm. um, Manaka-san, he's this, this like solo blacksmith. Can I have a work name? Yeah. Can I have like a really cool old work name? Why do I have to use my real name all the time? How about Michael? No. no. That's all you get on your one of the one of your it names. Is. It yeah. is, yeah, yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. That's a weird thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fun story yeah. for another time. Yeah. Kisuke Manaka-san, he's a solo game in the middle of kind of nowhere, the uh, in uh, Kasukabe, Saitama. He works by himself. He, uh, he really pride himself um, on the forge welding in house. All the knives that he makes are forge welded. Um, Basically, forge welding means making a three layer of steel by himself mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. his house. This one here, latest challenges of making this folded Damascus no. in the house. Oh no. So this one here called uh, Kisuke Manaka Ooh, okay. N series. N is like blades or the flame. Okay. Uh, so he makes the blade <gasps> layers of two different type of carbon steel, fold it, few times make a really nice layer then he puts the blue number one steel for the core blue number one for the core yeah it's got wow. multiple layers of steel that he made in house and puts that the core steel yeah it is nice and tall that is yeah like, it's got a nice nice deep bevel yeah it's got some texture on the blade it's got a bit of Kurochi it's got Damascus that he's made and forge welded to the core steel. Yeah. And this is a really nice handle. Nice tall bevel. Oh dear. 
So this one is the uh, N oh super beautifully made knife with the, uh, you know, kind of custom handle. 210 millimeter Gyuto and 240 millimeter Gyutos are available and each one has their own unique handles. Oh dear, this is a problem. Is this, height? is this three numbers or four numbers? Mm, you know, amount of work that he puts in. It's I four numbers. I think deserve four, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a four number knife. I think it deserves. Okay, yeah. four number knife. Okay, Santa, I've been really good this year. I've been really good this year. Although, this particular knife is four digit numbers, we do have a lot of other actually knives from Manaka-san for this garage sale. More mainly for the nice. just regular uh, three layer steel with a carbon steel core and a carbon steel on the outside. And, and Manaka, it, he's one of those blacksmiths that we often refer to as our small makers, mm -hmm. where, where we run a feature of a month and that's because of a just the amount of work and the time and the one man show mm -hmm. and the 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 things that he does, he, he really just produces a small number of knives mm -hmm. and it's not something we can really offer consistently throughout the year. So mm -hmm. we do uh, sort of burst offerings of his stuff, this yeah. like small makers month stuff. So getting them for the garage sale is really nice. That handle's almost iridescent. This is very distracting. Mm -hmm. This knife is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This is exciting. I know. Good work. I was, I get so excited about seeing this. That is a piece of art. Mm. If you like watching Forged in Fire and you really appreciate the craftsmanship of being a blacksmith, this is very special and this would be something that you would appreciate. Knife or Garage Hill starts Mountain Time, 8 a.m., November the 7th. And then it goes for many days and it ends on November the 13th at the end of the day. When the day's over, the sale is over. We have exclusive stocks in the store and online, and those stocks in the store will be available on the second day of the sale to the website. Okay, so Monday, in-store stuff is available in-store. Mm -hmm. And on Monday, online stuff is available online. And then Tuesday, yes. the powers combine. Yes. So if you live in any okay. cities that we have stores in, which is... Calgary. Calgary. Edmonton. Edmonton Ottawa. Vancouver. Vancouver. And if you want to see those knives in person... Yeah, go to the store. On Monday, you get to go to the store and see those exclusive selections. But this Friday, we are going to do a huge question and answer period where we will take any questions you have. Go online, look at the knives, check them out, come to us with your questions so that when it hits 8 a.m. on Monday, you are already in the know, you have an idea what you wanna buy, go to the website, buy it right away. Uh, if you make multiple transactions, that's fine. I say this because if there's something you really, really want and you put it in your cart and you go back to look around at a couple other things, someone else might snatch that on you. So don't do that. Get the knife you want, buy it, go through the checkout and then go back. All right, we'll combine your shipment for you later. We have a preview live stream today, Monday, that will start at 2 p.m. Mountain Time. 2 p.m. Mountain Time on Friday will be the full unboxing, AMA, Q&A, ask us questions, whatever you want to call it. And a marathon live stream on the first day, Monday, from 8 a.m. Mountain Time until 4 p.m. Mountain Time. I think we can even call it a telethon, yeah. right? I'm not running anywhere. We'll be here for demonstrations, help you shop for gifts. We'll do some cooking maybe. Kevin's gonna ride a unicycle and juggle. Hopefully he'll be, he'll be prepared for that. He, he, he's, you know, practicing. Well, we unscrewed enough. the wheels on the uh, trike. Oh. So tell us the knife you wanna get, put it in the comments. We'll see you this afternoon for live stream and all the videos for the rest of the week. We're excited because we love doing this. This is so much fun for us. Uh, and we love you guys coming in and finding some cool stuff too. So let us know whatever you need. We're always here to help. Bye. Bye.